Alrighty guys, tis I, Chrissy Girl. Welcome back to part 9 of my Pokemon Black playthrough. Um, in the last part, I scoured around, um, battled some trainers, explored Castelia City, and caught myself a new Pokemon. Um, a Darumaka. Darumaka's not really going to be that great at the moment, but once it evolves into Darmanitan, then things are going to go really heavy. I believe there's one more dancer that I haven't actually encountered yet, so I'm going to see if I can find him. Uh, I spoke to you already, didn't I? I completely forgotten that I've chatted with you people. I know there's a skyscraper over there that I haven't actually been in, but there's nothing really there at the minute. Excuse me. I haven't been down here yet, have I? No, I haven't. Oh, that's the ship that takes you to Liberty Gardens. If you have the Liberty Pass, which I don't. No, not anymore. <laughs> I do have Victini, but that was from my first playthrough of this game. Like, way back when I first got it. I know there's a dancer on one of these ports. I'm trying to find him. There he is! Okay. I'm pretty sure... Let me guess... You're going to have a Panseer, aren't you? Of course you are. Predictable. Direwolf, you can deal with this. I've got to get my little Darumaka's levels up. Oh, you don't scare me. Die. Come on. Way to go, Dire Wolf. You're the man. The Wolf Man. And yeah, you probably already saw the name. Tyrion. I did say it was after my favourite character from A Song of Ice and Fire. <laughs> and Tyrion is my favourite character from A Song of Ice and Fire. So, my Daramaka. My impish little Daramaka. Though I don't think impish is his nature. Yeah, I called him Tyrion. <laughs> Why the hell not? Okay, I do not know. I think there was a bit of lag in there. That's rather unusual. Screw you, YouTube. <laughs> okay. So now that I've got all three dancers together, I'm going to chat to the main dancers. Um, the main dancer in the middle, that is. Um, he'll give us an amulet coin, which doubles the money we earn in battle. Very handy to have if we're... You know, trying to raise money to buy things and stuff. We should be okay, though. I probably won't use it, but it's there. <laughs> it's a handy little item. Okay, I think I'm ready now. I think I'm going to be okay. Let's take on the gym. Oh, for goodness sake. You again? Jesus Christ! Everywhere I look! Okay. Oh, it's you again. <laughs> Berg. Okay. Okay, you're not gonna battle me. You know, I came all the way here, I did all that grinding, and you're not gonna battle me. Because of Team Plasma. Of course, Team Plasma ruins everything. I'm trying to remember which pier I have to go on. I really don't remember. I'm going to quickly, uh, I'm just going to check all the peers. Because <laughs> I don't remember at all. Me and my terrible memory. You've got to love how big Castelia City is, though. Massive city. I think this area changes quite a bit, that particular area. Um, in the second game, because there's a whole new area of Castelia City added, um, called the Castelia Sewers. Um, but, not in this game. We're not traipsing through no damn sewers in this game. But yeah, this is where we want to be. I'm coming, burger! <laughs> oh god, Bianca's had her Pokemon snatched now. Uh, the little girl there is Iris. 
I had this really p um, big problem with this part. Um, it isn't so much lazy editing as it is. Um, I'm not quite sure what happened with the uh, capture card technology or, you know, the program that runs the capture card, but it froze and the sound went all out of sync and I had to fiddle around trying to get the sound back in sync and stuff. Okay, I'm going to go and see if I can find Team Plasma. I have a pretty darn good idea of where they are. I mean, there is one skyscraper that I haven't checked out yet, right by the gym. And of course, Berg is waiting. Berg. Ah, oh, kind of obvious. Funny how they just crop up as soon as I walk away from the gym the first time. <coughs> Weak looking runt, I should be offended. I'm going to smash you. You have insulted me. Okay. I am going to punish you now. <sighs> With my dire wolf. Excuse me. My dire wolf will punish you. Because my dire wolf loves me. <laughs> He's a faithful friend. Nah, actually, I'm going to use Froggy. Fuck it. Much easier to take out a sand dial. Well, that's not really going to make much difference to me. I'm still going to take you out. Easily done. Okay. Well, Tyrion's doing well. Get his levels up a fair bit and then he should be okay in the gym. Even if he is a little bit under-leveled, he's got the type advantage, so he should be okay there. Uproar's probably never going to get used, It's just, but it's better than Rage, in my mind. Uh, okay, I'm um, going to try something different. <laughs> Apophis. <laughs> what? It's something different. going to ensure that both my Pokemon get fairly good experience from this. And that deals with that. All I did was take away people's Pokemon. Well, you said it there. You take away people's Pokemon, then you are bad. Or plus bad, as you just put it. We know you're in there. It's not that... Oh. Okay. Bianca obviously doesn't have a lot of trust in Iris's abilities. Chrissy, you come too. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's that freakish Getsis. Take what you want from people, yeah. That definitely sounds like their guiding principle. Ah. Uh, so... Getsis is going to do that stuff, that thing he always does where he paces up and down and talks real purdy. Okay. Um, thanks for the history lesson. <coughs> oh, well that summarises it. You're the one that wants it. And everybody else is just going along with what you want. Ah... <sighs> Okay. I didn't see you at Accumulatown, Berg. I think I'd have recognised that giant head of hair. <laughs> but I definitely didn't see it. Seven Sages. Uh, okay, so they're returning Mana to Bianca. Well, that's kind of a good point. <laughs> okay, you're talking about um, separating Pokemon from people, and yet you... Oh. Never mind. I think Berg's just happy to let them get away all the time. Ah. <laughs> oh.
little give and take. Um, oh, yach. Is that a yachi berry? Or I don't know how you pronounce that. But I can I can put it to some use, maybe. I don't know. Okay. So now I can have my gym battle, can I? What's this? Smoke ball. Okay. I can put that to some use, maybe. Or more than likely not. Okay. Um, time to take on the gym, then. Oh, Eve. Okay, see, Clyde's now not coming up to talk to me, so I'm going to have a chat with him. Get my fresh water. <laughs> Don't think you're getting away with not giving me my fresh water. Every little helps, dude. Okay. It's a honeycomb. Winnie the Pooh would be right at home in here. So the whole idea is to open up, you know, press on... You know, go on all these switches and open up all these gates so we can get to Berg. Oh. There's all these, um, clowns. Harlequins, okay, I'm sorry. They look like clowns. Ah, oh, I forgot to switch Tyrion up front. I mean, I know he's under-leveled even for the trainers, but... He's definitely got the type advantage. I think he would really be fine. <laughs> I really am not worried. I should be, but I'm not. Not even slightly. I mean, they're bug types. Bug types do not worry me at all. Ugh. Oh, darn it. <laughs> Critical hit. <laughs> Still, I have no fear. Dire Wolf is the wolf man. Venipede. I also have another Pokemon that would be very handy to take Venipede out, so I'm going to go over to Pinto for this one. I mean, yes, Venipede's part bug type and can hurt Pinto with bug type moves, but he's also part poison type and Pinto has the advantage there, so it's just one of those 50-50 sort of things. See? <laughs> Pinto is the best. I Sorry, Harlequin. You lost. Okay, another switch. Seriously, Winnie the Pooh would be totally at home in here. Um, I think I'm going to switch my Pokemon around, do a bit of healing as well. Why the hell not? I'm totally, totally prepared. Okay. I think now I'm going to switch my Pokemon around. I think. <laughs> Can't really tell when you, all you can see is the top screen. Especially when all the action takes place on the bottom screen when it comes to swapping Pokemon over. But hey-ho. There's another one. You French. Moi. 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 Ah. <laughs> oh. I don't know why, but I really fancy a burger. <laughs> uh, okay, first time Tyrion's going to be put into action. One of the things that I like about Dara Marker um, and that evolutionary line is that they got amazing attack um, stats. So I think Tyrion's going to be right at home on the team. Um, Poffice. I don't know why I sent a Poffice out, because Dwebble... Dwebble's part rock type, so Froggy would have been the much better choice. But hey ho, you live and learn. Um, I did bear that in mind um, later on. That if I come across one of these froggies, going to be my best choice. And uh, Tackle isn't really going to do anything to it. I'm just going to leave Tornado it to death. Oh, Evey. And that takes care of that. <coughs> okay. There's a couple of switches to open this gate. Oh, excuse me.
Oh, it's not going to open that gate, is it? Oh, it is going to open that gate. Okay. Rather unusual, but okay. Um, I'm going to see what's in there first before I actually um, hit that other switch. Okay, it opens one of the uh, sides to the gate that leads to Berg. I really want a burger right now. Bacon and cheese, please. <laughs> Needs burgers. Burger time. Uh, I'm not the healthiest eater, who cares? Okay. Another Harlequin. I am so terrified of Harlequins, not. Let's see what they've got to offer me. A Sawaddle. You know, Tyrion can take that thing out with one breath, even though he's like four levels lower. Okay, three levels lower. I forgot that he leveled up to level 18. Oh dear. That's kind of one issue with Tyrion. Um, this particular Dara marker um, has the hustle ability, which is very 50-50 in terms of convenience. On the one hand, it's good because it boosts attack. And Tyrion's already got very high attack, so there's no harm in boosting it just that little bit more, you know. But the downside is the accuracy. Um, it loses some of its accuracy in exchange for um, having really high attack. Um, at least that's what I got from it when I was reading up about Hustle. <laughs> I can't remember what other abilities. I mean, Zen Mode's another ability that they can have, but I don't really go much on Zen Mode, um, Dara Marker, because it um, means when they're below half health, they gain an extra type, they become a Fire Psychic type, and that means they become a bit more vulnerable to attack, I think. Like, Dark type attacks can suddenly hurt them a lot more than what they used to, and stuff like that. So I've never really been a big fan of Zen Mode. So, yeah, I I'd sooner have Hustle <laughs> as an ability on my Daramaka any day of the week. But I think you can only catch particular Dar Darmanitan in order to get um, Zen mode anyway, so... I don't care. Oh, excuse me. Come on, Tyrion. Oh, crud. Poison tail. I don't know if it'll take it out. Oh, it does! Whoa! <laughs> that was actually pretty good. <laughs> um, hopefully, this will be. You know, you know, Tyrion will be just as good against. Um, Berg. Oh, God. I think this is the Sawada where I was having a bit of grief because Tyrion just kept, well, Tyrion didn't necessarily keep missing, Sawaddle kept avoiding. So I think that's more to do with Sawaddle's evasion more than, you know, evasiveness more than Tyrion's um, lack of accuracy. But it's still kind of irritating though. Ah, uh, never mind. I'm not too concerned. I mean, it can't really do much to me. I mean, Tyria may not be the most defensive Pokemon in the world, but, you know. This thing still can't do much to me. <laughs> it can raise a leaf me all it likes. It's not going to do anything. Come on, finally. Oh, several attempts later and I finally managed to hit the fucker. <laughs> Oh, that's cheap and nasty stuff. <laughs> okay. Just to make a note that I normally don't bear in mind my Pokemon's ability when I catch them before anybody makes a start saying, you should have caught one with this ability, you should have caught one with that ability. And this is regards to all of my Pokemon, not just, um, you know, um, particular Pokemon. Yeah, lazy editing. <laughs> I uh, I went back to the Pokemon Center and healed up. Because why the hell not, you know? Let's go and take on Berg. 
the third gym leader. Right at the back of the gym. Where else is he going to be? Hooray, hooray, hooray! It's burger time! <laughs> oh. I really could do with a burger. <laughs> what is this? I was just wondering what that was on his pants then. It looked like a butterfly. Whirlipede, bug poison type. Um, I don't think this thing's going to be too much of a threat. But I'm going to go over to Pinto anyway. I mean, it is a bit of a risk, but I want to save Tyrion for later. I don't know why I didn't... Actually, I think it was because I, I forgot that Whirlipede was this leading Pokemon. Oh crap, this is going to hurt. Oh crap, it did hurt. Come on, Pinto, hang in there. Oh crud. It was kind of Oh. <laughs> oh You're not gonna survive this, are you? No, you're not. I had a funny feeling you wouldn't. Um Okay, who am I gonna switch to? I mean I could have healed Pinto up, but I was hoping to you know, not have to. I was Never mind. I'm not too concerned. If I get Direwolf to work up a sweat, <laughs> this thing will go down pretty quick. I'm not worried. <laughs> Do I look worried to you? <laughs> Come on, Direwolf. We can do this. You the wolf man. I was hoping that that wouldn't happen, but... You're the wolf man, we can do this. I mean, there's a slight chance that Whirlipy could poison us, but... You know, you're the wolf man. I trust you. You trust me. We can take this thing out. If I get one more work up, it should be enough to take it out without putting it in the red. I don't want another healing session going on. Come on. There we go, that, can take, that takes care of Whirlipede. Uh, who's next? Um, Dwebble. Well, I've got just the thing for you. Learnt the hard way with the uh, random trainers, Dwebble. Froggy is definitely the one to go with here. Uh, bring it on. <laughs> Good old bubble beam to your head. Oh crap, it, it landed in the red. I was hoping it would knock it out completely, but it didn't. Which is a bit rubbish. Oh well, I'll just go in for another another bubble beam, I mean. You can heal all he likes. Eventually he's going to run out of hyper potions. <laughs> is it just me or are the Pokemon in this gym quite evasive? Not just this gym, but later on in the game there's quite a few Pokemon that are evasive. With regards to my Pokemon, anyway. See, I knew you wouldn't heal this time round. Okay. Last Pokemon, Levani. His highest leveled Pokemon. Bug Grass type. I don't think this thing is going to pose too much of a threat. Because Tyrion is a fire type. And Levani is four times weak to fire. One Fire Fang will be enough to take this thing out, even though Tyrion is much lower leveled. Even by... I mean, it's only by three levels, but still. Lower leveled. <laughs> the only concern was that if Levani just had high evasiveness and avoided it, but evidently it didn't, and Tyrion took it out with great ease. It's catching up now, which is good. Oh, it leveled up! He leveled up by two whole levels! That's, that's fantastic! I'm definitely going to replace Fire Fang with Fire Punch, because Fire Punch is a better move, if I remember rightly. And Tyrion learned Fire Punch. Fantastic. Burger time is now over. <laughs> okay. Third gym badge. The insect badge. Well... We're one step closer. Now we've just got to head to the next gym and take out the next leader. Insectable. Oh, that is not even funny. 
Okay, TM76 Struggle Bug. I don't think Struggle Bug's that great a move. I've never used it. Whatever. I'm going to go and heal up. Um, before I continue on my journey. Uh. Okay. Upon leaving the gym get an instant phone call from our good friend Bianca you want to have a Pokemon battle you mean your Pokemon just got kidnapped and now you want to battle me <laughs> you won't stand a chance bitch okay I'm gonna go and heal up my Pokemon um, and I'll see you guys in the next part where we'll take on Bianca and make our way north to Nimbasa City